going on, everybody? Happy Friday. We made it to the end of the week here. We have Briggs and Ryan here, and I'm Hunter, and uh, we're here on Northern Life. So <laughs> thank you guys for joining us here the first week of the new year now, almost yeah. in the books. And uh, we're feeling pretty good about You're 2024. You're bringing the energy today. <laughs> right, it's Friday, you know. It's the almost way the you weekend. said, what's up, everybody? I was what's like, oh, I'm fired up now. <laughs> I wanted to, you know, I wanted to feel the energy of everybody in the Northland right there. I, I want you to shout out at the TV right now or something <laughs> like that. I don't know. You did a good job. Yeah. I'm on one of my last days of the morning shift, and honestly, I'm just really tired. So what's going on? Our, uh, our director Seth too goes. You guys ready? Is like, do we have a choice? <laughs> we have to do it. <laughs> well, we're, ha we're happy to we do are. it. We're happy to do it. I'm not as happy as Hunter apparently, but uh, <laughs> we're still very happy. <laughs> hey, coming up today, we're making our final football picks of the regular season, and I gotta say, it is coming down to the wire. And we'll also talk about the Vikings' very small chance when it comes to possibly making the NFL playoffs. Wow. Some interesting news uh, for their quarterback choice, too. True. Oh, they got sure Mullins we'll in, that. right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, also, we're going to be sharing the things we would never do no matter what on this Top 5 Friday. I have quite the list. I'm sure you guys do, too. I'm excited. I know. It's an interesting topic. It I really realize is. there are a lot of things that I would be very nervous to do when yeah. I was making this yeah. list. So. Life in general, too. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> well, as we head into the weekend, we recently we received this lovely comment on our Facebook from Cindy, who told us, I love your show. Keep it up. It's so great to see such talented, kind, young people. The world needs you. Whoa, oh, the world. Man, yeah, the world. We're, we have a large audience. But thank you, Cindy. <laughs> True. That is so nice. Is. Uh, it is good to hear, you know, when people uh, love watching the show and it brings them a little joy. Yeah, the seriously. Yeah, that. especially to a bear out there and, uh, you know, our uh, other <laughs> viewers, you know, down in like Texas or Louisiana, too. So we got viewers all South over. South Dakota, wasn't there South Dakota South viewers? South Dakota. Alaska, yeah. mm -hmm. International Chicago. viewers. Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, yeah, New Zealand. We're all over the map. All over, Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> I think <laughs> it's Pitbull. Pitbull yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Just like our show, we're all over the map sometimes. <laughs> hey, uh, Briggs, it seems like as we get ready for the weekend, it looks like uh, little Harry is also ready for the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Walked out to in the living room this morning, uh, looking like a teenager, like too tired to get up and get ready for school or something. He Sneeds. had Friday energy for Aww. sure. Just needs a soda and a bowl of chips to I complete know. the look. Oh, I wow. know. Get, get him a hat that's tilted down over his eyes so he can take a little nap too. It was so funny. Uh, he's just gonna rest all weekend too, so I don't know what he's resting up for. <laughs> he doesn't have any big plans. Is he? Is he a snorer? Like, does he uh, snore no, quite a bit? He no, he doesn't oh. really. Actually, CJ, our chocolate lab, is more of a snorer. Oh. You can hear him in the night sometimes, oh, wow. kind of. That's so I know, sweet. it's funny. Harry's so big, uh, you'd think he would snore, but yeah. He just keeps the tongue out. Kind of quiet. Yeah, <laughs> that's, his, that's his thing. Oh, yes. I think his tongue is out in that picture, yeah. right? <laughs> it's out in every single it's picture I've is. ever taken of him. Always is. Uh, I was going to ask, too, you guys got any weekend plans? I know we have our uh, holiday party here at Northern yes. News now, so we're going to be partying up on Saturday night. Uh, but anything excited. else on your agenda? Uh, uh, my in-laws are coming into town nice. from Eagle River, Wisconsin. Oh. Yeah, they're coming to visit us because we didn't get a chance to go see him for Christmas, so that'll be super fun. Good. And uh, I don't know what we're going to do. Probably just uh, go experience the Duluth stuff. Sure. Yeah, fun things because I know it's going to be snowing. Yep. It's I'm nice uh, fresh snow layer on the ground so that'll be kind of cool. They have yeah. snow in Eagle River, right? Today, I think they have just I like think. a little bit, not as much as they usually would, but it's such a big snowmobiling community. They oh. too are, you know, oh. feeling it mm -hmm. out there. I thought Hunter was saying, does Eagle River ever get snow? <laughs> oh, in <laughs> general. I was like, I would assume so. <laughs> I mean, Wisconsin, was, yeah. most of the state does. I would assume they I would do. think so. Yeah, what yeah. do you guys up to this weekend? What am I? What, that is a very good yeah. question. <laughs> uh, Friday uh, tonight, I think that we are going to be going over to our neighbor's house, Fun. teaching our neighbors how to play guitar. Oh. I think is going to be what we're doing. Uh, so. Teach me. Yeah, yeah. Hey, come on over. Yeah. Come on out to 40 minutes north of here. <laughs> Seth, Seth in our ear, who also plays guitar, says, I've told you so many times, I can help you learn how to play. <laughs> Literally, you got yeah. your two desks away from Seth. He should teach yeah. you, man. Yeah, I'm sorry, Seth. What are you up to? Uh, not much. Just getting ready for the party. Probably okay. got to put some clothes away, too. I'm really excited <laughs> yeah. for the party. Put some clothes away. <laughs> I always got to put clothes away. Uh, it's have you gotten Sunday. any better about putting your laundry away no. right away? No. no. That was a no. resolution of yours at yeah. one point, I think. Yeah. It's uh, <laughs> gone to the wayside. Sorry <laughs> to it's bring over. it up, I guess. <laughs> well, we are happy it's Friday. We're also happy for our friend Hunter here because he just recently got 
A new phone. Yes, new right. Phone. Let's see it. Oh, okay. Never mind. We got the picture first. Uh, he's also a member of Costco. Just a fresh new cool. member. So I got to meet Diane for the first time, which Ryan got to meet as well. And I think Briggs as well. Yeah. Oh, we've, yeah. We've all met Diane, and she is the coolest person when she was so when I walked around Costco. There was a few people there that, that knew me, which is really cool. And she came up, and she's like, did you just get a Costco membership? And I'm like, yes, it's my first time. And she's like, you're awesome. And say hi to Briggs and Ryan, oh, too. Yeah. And gave her a big hug. And then I'm like, can we take a picture? And she's like, Yes, of course. Oh. And so Hi, there's Dan. that picture. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. She's so cool. And the quality of that picture, uh, so good because of the new phone. Look at this thing. Phone. Yeah, look at that. It's a S22 Ultra or whatever. Oh. This, this is the original one that I dropped and broke. And then oh. I got a new one sent in the mail. This is the new one, I guess. <laughs> so it's the same exact phone, but it was sent in the mail. And now we're all good to go for nice pictures. Things, yeah. <laughs> things are uh, looking up for Hunter's Camp over there. <laughs> Life is good. Good to see. Uh, before we get to break, too, we got to talk about this. So if you have a Gen Z kid or a grandkid, or if you're a millennial or Gen Z or watching, watching our show. Thanks for watching. But the popular Stanley Cup, there's a limited edition Stanley Cup at Target that has been selling out nationwide. And we had to ask Briggs because Briggs got one for Christmas. I did. How do you like your own Stanley Cup? Mm. It's essentially a big tumbler that's it's become so very popular. Big. I love it because it is so big. And that's some reason that people don't like it as much because it's it's large. Is it it's heavy too? Obnoxious. It looks heavy. Uh, yeah, you can, you can grab it. It's a little heavy. <laughs> Sound <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> Take a sip, Ryan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But that's what people uh, like too. They like the yes, straw, and it fits in the cup holder of the car wow. too. It is nice. I'm not sponsored by Stanley. Wish I was, but um, yeah, this is a nice thing so far because uh, the straw encourages me to drink a lot of water, yeah. and uh, it's so big that I barely have to refill it. What's the mascot know? on there? Is that a bear it with a crown? Like a, like a polar bear, or like a, a bear with a wings. Bear with a crown. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so far, so good though. Good. I like the Stanley. Yeah, good. good. When you said Stanley Cup, I was thinking hockey. Like, there's a bunch of miniature <laughs> hockey Stanley Cups. I'm not, like, what? Not that one. Okay. Not I that gotcha. one. Well, hey, coming up, we got our top fives to share. Thanks for being here on Northern Life. Welcome back, everybody. We are rocking and rolling on this Friday. And you know what time it is. We're back with another top five Friday list. Today's question comes to us by our very own Briggs Savage. Mm -hmm. The question, what are the top five things you would never do no matter what? Wow. So Briggs, yeah. since it's your question, okay. let's start with your okay. list. It sounds a little negative, but it, I was just thinking, uh, I had been watching The Amazing Race. I was like, I don't want to bungee jump. I don't want to skydive. Okay. So I thought I was inspired by that. Wow. I'm not trying to bring negativity into the world. Those two things are on my list, but I didn't include them on the top five because I feel like most people yeah. sure. aren't so interested in that. So you, you could do them. You would maybe do them. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that this serves also as a, uh, I'm not going to do any of these for a blind gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, sure, 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 sure. Just smart. add those to the bottom Darn of my it. list. Honorary mentions. <laughs> we won't make uh, you a surgeon. My surgent. first one though, anything involving a snake is an absolute nope. <laughs> Just big, no not, not snake fan? Wow. No, I get, I'm very afraid of them. I don't know what it is, especially the very large ones. <laughs> yeah, like whenever I see stories about um, people's pet snake getting lost, and it's like a huge like boa constrictor. I'm like, why? Oh, Where God. is it? I would be moving three states away. <laughs> um, also, I could never be a surgeon or doctor. I have the most respect uh, for those in that position, but uh, I, it is an incredibly hard job, and the amount of stress uh, that it must be, Bring. Sure. It would be incredible. Be not only am I probably not smart in that way. <laughs> oh, Briggs. Uh, uh, smart in other ways also. Yeah, you uh, could do but it. That, that would stress me out big time. Uh, singing in front of a crowd, a big crowd, I'll clarify that. Karaoke is okay. I was okay. going to say, get ready for yeah. karaoke, karaoke this weekend. Karaoke is okay. I, I can do that. But like, if I had to seriously sing a song like the anthem or something like that, there's no chance. Yes. Yeah. I would be able to do that. I'd be so nervous. Well, you're a good singer, though. You should oh, be. Oh, I don't know. How about <laughs> Ryan said that once. Yeah. How about, about stand-up comedy outside? No, that's, that should be number oh, seven. Okay. That was on the list. We can no. do it. Number, number eight. I uh, bungee number jumping eight. Into <laughs> uh, my next one is any, I, I don't think I would ever want to live outside the Midwest. I love traveling, love experiencing other places. But as far as for where to live, I love the Midwest, the people here, just the seasons. Uh, it's a great place to be. So I always want to stay here in some capacity. Sure. And number five, this one might seem weird but I, I don't ever want to go on a cruise that's mm. interesting yeah I think I would be nervous uh, being confined to the boat I know you get to get off the boat at yeah. Some yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think I, I would just be nervous and I think I would get a little seasick wow. even though the boat is so large it can move yeah. they're, they're rocky Most sometimes and, 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 the, yes. and how big they are that scares me yes. too when you're standing like on shore and you look up at this huge boat seriously ship I suppose. Yeah, Robert, we're in Cruise yeah, vessel. Yeah. 
Uh, who's next? Is it Hunter? Hunter. Is it me? Oh, let's okay. take a gander. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Number one, I said skydiving. No, one and two are similar. Scaling a building, which I don't think that scenario would ever come up when, ever. When would you be scaling a building, <laughs> Spider-Man? Spider -Man, yeah. <laughs> But it's, you know, shoot my web. You never know what's going on. But um, the reason that I think I'm afraid of heights uh, is because when I was little, my parents would mess with us all the time, me and Colton. Yeah. One of the many things they would do is uh, going down 21st Avenue East here in Duluth. Uh, we would be driving down, and all of a sudden, my mom and dad, both of them would go, oh, the brakes are out. What's going on? Oh. They would pretend that the brakes are out in my car. And so we'd start bawling. That's you awesome. know, I'm like, fine. It's, it is hilarious looking back, but that messed me up. Right? I mean, come on. There's scars. There's emotional scars. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's, hopefully that's interesting. This, hopefully this show can help heal those guys. Yeah. Exactly. There's a million stories like that out there where they're just messing with us, oh. but, which is it's very good. But number three, I don't think, again, I don't know how this scenario would ever come about, but I would never hug a bear, um, of oh. course. I mean, I don't think anybody would hug a bear, right? Uh, I, I, I don't think I would, yeah. A petting zoo? Bears. I don't know if they have bears at petting zoos. Oh, but that's a thing, maybe, perhaps. It kind of looks like a bear. True. Yeah, that's a big polar bear, you know. Uh, live in a busy city. Like, I, I'd live in a city. City, but I don't think I live in like the heart of like a like New York City or something oh, like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. You know, similar to your Midwest thing. It's just there's something about this area that is so peaceful and beautiful, and all the woods and everything like that helps heal those emotional scars you have. <laughs> I need every help I can. That's for sure. Uh, number five, uh, again with the heights thing, going to space. I don't like things that are very small and shooting up very high in the air, and I'm not able to move around much. I don't like I don't like that kind of. Uh, that's not an idea of a fun sa Saturday afternoon to be. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very expensive also. It is. <laughs> right now. It is. True. I, don't think, I don't think it's in the Northern Life budget to go to space anytime soon. We'll talk soon. to Ben. We'll talk we'll to Ben. We'll see what he has to say. Exactly. What about you, Ryan? Uh, let's get to my list. Number one, I think I've told you guys this. I don't think I've told this to viewers before, but ever eat shrimp again? I am so allergic to shrimp. And if you've ever seen the movie Hitch, the one time oh. I had shrimp, my face blew up. Fortunately, like, you know, I wasn't going to die or anything, That's but good. we had a really bad reaction. So not going to do that again. Not going to go cliff jumping. I'm like, Hunter, I have uh, afraid of heights <laughs> and uh, just something about jumping off a cliff into the deep water below is is kind of frightening. Yeah, to me. Uh, three also deals with heights. Riding in a blimp, I feel like a blimp is just kind of a you know like the Goodyear blimp you see. Yeah. It'd be I I, I don't think I could do that because it's a small sitting area yeah. and then you got to rely on this thing that's filled with air yes. to, to get you from place to place. Yes. Four also related to heights and uh, being responsible for the uh, flying device <laughs> of uh, flying once device. again I, like Rick said about doctors I respect pilots out there and respect what you do but my goodness I could not do that. Oh, yeah. And then uh, number five I think as you saw earlier this week with our does it work segment i could uh not try to fix a mechanical issue in my car oh i'm too afraid of uh making something worse that's yeah. a good that's a very good point right yeah. there you could learn though that's something you could yeah. learn maybe yeah i feel like i could eventually do maybe like an oil change or something like that but at the same time that's don't want to don't want to ruin that uh, vehicle that's a good point well good list there hey coming up our football picks are coming down to the wire it's neck and neck for first place don't go anywhere Welcome back. Big news to share as we head into the final weekend of our Northern Life football picks for the regular season. I for sure can't take home the win, sadly. <laughs> but I mean, look at what it looks like at the top of the leaderboard Tell here. Me. We got oh Briggs gosh. at the top. Harry and CJ and Hunter just one game back. And I mean, here's how we're picking for this week. So I went against Hunter's picks because I knew that I can't reach Briggs for the top spot. That's so I have to go against whatever Hunter bid. So as we can see here, I think it was me and Briggs picking the Vikings yeah. and Bears oh. and Hunter going with the Lions and Packers, which is obviously probably the favorites. Yeah. But at the same time, we're going to try to uh, mix things up here when it comes to our standings. I didn't Seriously. realize I was at the top of the standings. Uh, when you made I the pick. Have, uh, yeah, I then I made my picks. Otherwise, I would have picked differently. So I we can be know. honest with that, but that's OK. We can okay. Officially... I was trying to separate myself and get to the very top of the leaderboard, but I'm already there. So this is not yeah. stressful. We know you can't lose, though. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's good. Right. We know you, can you can't lose. lose. Oh, uh, not, if I win both picks and last place, not last oh, place. Oh, you can't get last I, place. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, yeah, Ryan will lose. We can officially <laughs> Sorry, say I think guys. that I won, right? Based uh, on these whoa, picks. Whoa, whoa, well, I mean, we gotta wait. We'll see how things play out. Yeah, Vikings are gonna the lose. Heck? Stranger things have happened. <laughs> wow. Any given Sunday, my That's friends. true, that's just, true. Just because you said that, there's gonna be some uh, karma this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> well, here's how uh, CJ and Harry picked this week. 
CJ actually went against his father's favorite team as he picked the Bears over the Packers. Whoa! Silly, silly boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Don't hug Bears, by the way. Yeah, Don't hug Bears. Do not. <laughs> uh, and then Harry wasted no time either picking the Vikings, actually, uh, which is probably probably not going to be the case. Uh, I, I am in my true heart of hearts. I do think the Lions are going to win. Um, but I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah. Do, wait the, and see. do the Bears still have a chance at the playoffs, or are they eliminated? The Bears do not. They're okay. uh, very bad. Uh, <laughs> when it comes to the playoffs, though, the Packers essentially need to win, and they're in. However, for the Vikings, look at what they need to see happen to make it in. The Vikings need to beat the Lions. They need Arizona to defeat Seattle. They need Green Bay to lose to the Bears. And then they either need one of two things. They need Atlanta to beat the Saints, or they need Carolina to take down the Buccaneers. Oh, That's according to Vikings.com. All that on your own, or no? Uh, no, no, I know. I made sure to find a website that did that. <laughs> Ryan's out there doing the math at like 2 a.m. in the morning. I, I wish I was. Brackets. I wish I was that smart to, to assemble that thing on my own. But uh, I mean, there's like tiebreakers and whatnot. I know Packers have a chance to like maybe get to the sixth seed if uh, I believe they need Seattle to lose. I could be wrong there, okay. but uh, I think the pack, like I said, Packers just need to win, but the Vikings need a, a parlay to uh, parlay. To, to succeed in order easy to make peasy. it in. Yeah. Easy, we got peasy. it in the bag. Come on, Vikings. <laughs> You're in the purple, too, yeah. I just noticed. Pro Vikings, let's Whoa. go. Rock on. Skull all the way, baby. Yes. <laughs> Skull till we go. Yeah. Well, for baseball oh. fans out there, starting today, the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame and Museum is offering a Minnesota Twins mystery bobblehead box. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, the mystery boxes are $40 each plus $8 of shipping, too. The bobbleheads include stadium giveaway bobbleheads as well as bobbleheads that were available as part of special ticket packages. What? Oh, I'm see. I'm seeing what these are now. What, what, is, what is that? <laughs> oh, almost a Thor one. So these are like from different. Oh. I I can't remember if it's from last season or they're from seasons before too. Oh, sure. But I think they're you know they're they're bobbleheads that didn't go That's to cool. folks. And so they're uh, now selling them off. And so what it's is turkey. That? Yeah. That's, that's friends. From, uh, Look at it. It says friends. friends. Yeah. It's Joey, I think, wearing yeah. the turkey. Oh. Yeah, with the turkey on his yeah. uh, TC funny. bear. So. I like that. Yeah. I feel like bobbleheads aren't used enough in life. You know, I feel like we should have bobbleheads of us or something like that. I mean, they're there not be more used enough in life. Yeah, I feel like life should have more bobbleheads in it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think the gnome has recently replaced the bobblehead. People have gnomes, oh. you know, all over their house, uh, yeah. all seasons. It's a gnome's world now. It is. <laughs> uh, we'll see you right here after the break. Welcome back, folks. Seth just coughed in her ear before we came back. That was great. One, was, two. Uh, <laughs> it's like, what do you do with that? Anyway, coming up next week here at Northern Life, our director, Seth, the guy I just mentioned, and I got to jam out over at Morgan Music in Superior. We played some songs, learned all about the instruments and gear you can find at their shop. It was a ton of fun. Seth knows yeah. his stuff, and uh, it was fun talking with those guys for sure. Any uh, gnomes or bobbleheads that you found at uh, Morgan Music? <laughs> no, but I think they should invest in that now. I'll, I'll have a conversation with them uh, after this and talk about bobbleheads with them. <laughs> the gnome market is huge right now. It I is. Mean, it is. Uh, then coming up on Tuesday, Hunter blindfolded me and Ryan and brought us back to the station, actually, for a surprise <laughs> meeting. But thankfully, it didn't involve coloring in our van in the garage, as Hunter had to experience one time. We were at the station. <laughs> we're back at the station. <laughs> That's exactly what was going through my mind every time. And then Seth randomly gave me a rock to hold on. <laughs> To. Uh, during the car ride, he's like, you're going to need this. It's like, why? It's like and then I, it turns out I needed the rock yeah. for no reason. Spoiler alert, all. yeah, didn't need it. <laughs> that was a good story. Uh, but uh, I'm going to go check my uh, investments today, and I'm going to check to see if I can uh, invest in any bobbleheads or gnomes on the open market. Now that we've talked about it, it's sky, it's up from here. It's a bull market, folks. Get in on it early if you can. Going up, uh, yep. Good advice, Andre. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll see you next week. Find some time to throw a line. Just head outside to unwind That's the life in the great north woods Hike or bike, whatever you like Get out in the day, enjoy the night Yeah, we got the life in the great north woods Yeah, we got the life in the great north woods Yeah, this is northern life